India's 5G space is booming with global as well as domestic players pitching in. The coronavirus pandemic may have delayed India's 5G dreams for some time, but it has not deterred equipment makers from engaging in terms of manufacturing and network development. Global equipment majors such as Ericsson are not the only ones entering the segment. Amid a focus on Make in India, now Indian companies are also actively pursuing tie-ups to get into the telecom game with 5G. Tech Mahindra, Sterlight Technologies Limited, and state-run ITI Limited are among the Indian companies with 5G expertise. And the recent news of Tata Sun's subsidiary Panatone Finvest acquiring a controlling stake in telecom equipment maker Tejas Networks will definitely increase the competition. Tejas may prove to be a valuable partner in Tata's 5G race. This is because it already has experience in manufacturing telecom equipment. Besides having partnered with government-owned ITI in the past for building BSNL's 4G network, Tejas has also applied to the government's production-linked incentive scheme for manufacturing telecom equipment. Notably, 5G network infrastructure will differ from the existing telecom network that we have. This is because 5G will have a greater requirement for software. Analysts estimate that 70% of the cost of next-generation 5G network would be for software and system integration, the rest for hardware. Earlier, that ratio was in reverse. That is why Indian IT companies see an opportunity now. In this context, Tata's TCS has a natural advantage over its competitors in the 5G race. Being a global IT provider, it has relationships with existing telcos all over the world. Also, thanks to Airtel's tie-up, the Tata Tejas combined will have access to their telco operations across Africa, which is again one of the hottest growing markets for telecom equipment. Remember, the Department of Telecommunications has decided to keep Chinese telcos Huawei and ZTE out of India's 5G race. Hence, local manufacturing and make in India will be top priorities here. While trials have already begun, we still don't have the dates for the 5G launch. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.